Tyler, take me through this Talinsky family. All I hear is quarterbacks, quarterbacks, and more quarterbacks. <laughs> well, yes, sir. It started with my older brother, Kelly. Um, he played quarterback in Notre Dame High School, and uh, I was actually D and linebacker, his receiver at one point um, early on, but I ended up being a quarterback, and my brother Ryan as well is now a quarterback. All right, well, let's break down a couple of these plays. Walk me through. What play do we have here? All right, we have tight bunch left. We have 78Z divide. Before we get started with this play, the, in order to read the defense, what are you seeing from the start of the I play? see cover two right here, and that's what we want because we want Marquise to take the corner and we want Trevor just to go over the top on the safety. As you drop back in the pocket, you step up beautifully into the pocket, which obviously gives you a passing lane to throw through. What are you seeing as the play started to develop? Uh, I see Trevor running past the safety. I know I got him deep. Okay. All right, now that we get to this next play, uh, Silverado again? Yeah, Silverado again. Um, sprint pass left, Gator out, and we just hit Marquise. Great catch, too. Now, the one thing at this one is that the ability to roll to your left. Yes, sir. You know, what's the difference for you going right and going left? You just got to get your shoulders and your hips around and everything. Without that, you can't get your power and stuff. So we, we really work on this. So this was a Lucy, which was a sprint pass left. And if I want to hit that fade, I got to get my feet set quick. And uh, we had Marquise open. Like stretching the receivers out. A little bit. I know. I got. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We got hamstrings, you know? <laughs> All right, fellas, today we got to get Tyler going now. Receivers always make the quarterback look good, so I need you guys to, to step up your game a little bit. We're going to get some individual routes. We'll start out with the curl route. Okay, I got Brother Kelly here to break it down with me. Yes. All right, all right, Tyler, let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go. Yeah. All right, Kelly, so now give me a breakdown of where your brother is at in terms of his development. I mean, he's come such such a long way. He's he's grown up as the, the typical middle brother, you know. He'd hate for me to tell you this, but he grew up, you know, looking up to me and, and never really having kind of a place. Like he told you earlier, he when I was a quarterback for the team, he had to play receiver because there wasn't really a place. Like I was the older brother. I got right. to be the quarterback. I got the first dibs. I chose quarterback, and that was my kind of thing, and so... You know, he him selflessly went out and played receiver and you know, caught a couple touchdown passes. And just seeing that kid, knowing who that kid is, my brother, and seeing him come up now, starting for a varsity team at one of the toughest conferences in, in California and in, in America and doing what he's doing, it's just, it's amazing. So there you go. Atta boy. Nice throw. What's the, what's the, nice what's throw. the target point here? I mean, are, are we... You know, how much is there to factor in? We got the back of the end zone, right. you got the speed of the receiver. Right now we're acting like the corner just ran up on the, the flat and we're just giving him a nice ball because he beat the safety. Okay. You know, when I look at it, I say, look, this is a guy that threw for 3,000 yards, but it was his first year as a full-time varsity quarterback here. Well, we really focus on reading the safeties and, and he has to know, I mean, we practice all the time. He has to know whether it's single high, two high, middle open, middle closed, and once he gets the rotation on the secondary, then he's looking to level two, which is, you know, either the invert strong safety or backer for his next read. But he has a pretty open vision, so even though he might be reading a safety, he can still see what the corner's doing. Okay, and I, I know all coaches love to have what they call the quarterback be a coach on the field. Right. Is he that coach on the oh, field? Oh, yes, yes. He, he self-corrects quite a bit on the field. And then the good thing is when he comes off the field, it's football language. It's, we're not. We're speaking the same language, you know. And then he'll he'll come over during a game and he'll say, "Good call. I missed. I missed the read. Let's go again. We're the same situation again. We'll get it over again." He understands blitzes. When he he he, I've seen him complete a pass and then be upset with the completion because he went to the wrong guy based on what his read told him to do. Hey Tyler, I know that you've been working on uh, you know from a mechanic standpoint, you know, working on you know, getting the hips set and all that kind of stuff. What is that? Walk me through it. Set, go. So I get my hips turned, get set, and launch it, and try. <laughs> okay, and so now, compared to a year ago, yeah. how much more has that helped in terms of, it, does it help accuracy-wise, or how much yards. farther can you ten, go? 10 more yards at least, ten just, more yards just with my hips, right? All right, fellas, I only break this out on special occasions. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I only break it out on special occasions. Yeah. Now this is old school, this is a throwback. This is a throwback, right? This is a real throwback though. Yeah, it's still a real throwback. All right, so now, what route do you got, Ty? We got the post. All right, got now. the deep post right now. Okay, we need one deep post. We need a, a catch, a big catch right now. This is a good one deep post. Let's see if you make it. Set, go! Ah! <laughs> 
Get up, Melon, get up, get up! Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys.